work in progress. He's progressing back from his ankle, so he's getting a little bit more and a little bit more every practice. Um, but man, he looks he looks really really good, you know, flying around and moving his pace. Um, he's done a lot of good things in the limited reps that he's had so far this camp. Um, but again, it's it's exciting to watch him. It's exciting to watch, um, like I said, his leadership and kind of how he carries himself. He's such a unique build. What weight ideally would you want him to play at? As much as he can possibly weigh. <laughs> So is it too early to see the impact of maybe the improvements the defensive line has made on your group? Are you, can, you, can you see plays that you guys are making now because? Oh, for sure. Line? And I think it's not only, you know, that group. I think it's the group I'm responsible for. I think it's the guys in the back end. There's just a, a different level of um, guys being comfortable with the scheme, maybe anticipating the calls a little bit more before they come in. I know what we're going to call, um, maybe anticipating a little bit more what we're going to be seeing rather than you know, being shocked by everything that they see. So there's a natural progression from year one to year two into, into what we're doing. But, you know, it's been encouraging to watch, you know, all three levels of defense and kind of some of the improvements that, that's, that's been made, uh, but also the expectation level, you know, um, is, is quite a bit different. Within practice, there's a there's an expectation level to, to do well and to make a play, and not just kind of check my check my job responsibility. Apologies if you're any but with Eric, how did you just see him kind of attack this offseason? Yeah, it, you know the when he got here last year, you know you got to think about this guy's never played inside my back before he got here. He played more overhang in Arizona State. He hadn't played just a ton of football. Uh, we threw him in there because we felt like he was going to be our best option to, to, to play better defense. Um, but, you know, you saw a lot of growth mentally with him. Um, his maturity level has gone up a lot. He's handled it. His, you know, his off-the-field stuff, not that it was uh, necessarily a, a, an issue, but, man, he's gotten so much better of everything off the field. And it's, it's been refreshing to see that and be around it. Um, he's motivated. You know, the things that maybe didn't go so well for him a year ago is a, is a real motivating factor for him. Um, and it's evident by his actions and how he, how he acts on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, obviously, the weight's going to be a continually um, monitored progress. And it's, you know, it's, a, it's a, again, we're going to continue to fight it and fight it and fight it and see how big we can get him. He seems... You know, he's such an emotional player. He seemed very calm and at ease, at least the last time. No, but I, I, you know what, I think he, he is an emotional player, but I think he's done a great job. And that's kind of talking about the off the field stuff. He's channeled that, those emotions <laughs> in a very, very positive way this offseason. And he's done a great job with it, been very mature about it. Um, and I'm, I'm really proud of, of the progress that he's made. And obviously, we've, we've got to see that, that to continue to rise you know, throughout this year. Um, Talent level, he's, he's really, really, uh, really talented player. And then we'll see where he goes from there. But like, I'm, I'm excited about where he is today where, and how far he's gone. But there's so much more for him to, to go out and go get. Can you talk about where Tackett's at? This yeah. Um, he's done a great job. Obviously, he came in, and, and his mentality is the difference. You know, the, the great thing about Tackett is he expects to make every play. Um, so with that being said, you kind of got a, um, a saying in the in, in around here what, talking about defense players. The ball, the ball is more important than the block. So ball over blocker, and he's like the epitome of ball over block. You know, he's not going to waste himself on a block if the ball is there. He's going to go find the ball. The guy has a nose for a ball. Um, but again, his day-to-day -day mentality is as good as I've ever been around. Um, uh, he's, a, he's, a he's, uh, he's, he's got a chance to have a special career here. Um, but again, he's got to progress. He's got to continue to, to learn the playbook, just like every other freshman. There's going to be freshman mistakes with him. But, you know, the, the, the more mistakes he can make right now, the better uh, he'll be, you know, in a few weeks. As a, as a young player, does he tend to make errors of aggression or errors of hesitation? Oh, 100% errors stage? of aggression. And if you're going to do that, I mean, if it's going to be one of those two errors, I want him, I want him to be aggressive. And he doesn't confuse the main thing. And the main thing is tackle the guy with football.
Now, he might be supposed to be on the other side of the, of the ball, but if the ball's over here, this guy's tackling the ball. Like, he is a football-playing dude, and he's, he's a tackling machine. There's, there's no doubt about it. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you.